All right. So uh, after looking at my previous video, uh, you should be able to know uh, how can you put in this classification code and so on. So again, from the list, you can see from here, this is the one that I edited. I updated in the previous video. So I have the 0 to 2 classification over here. So the question comes, I have so many items. Should I be editing one by one and put update the uh, values in it? Is there any a better way to do it? Of course, uh, AutoCount has a solution for this. What we can do is, uh, if you group your item accordingly or you name your item code nicely, so we can do this easily. Take for example, I have grouped my item. You see, uh, let's say this is a uh, MA mobile accessories. So I have certain mobile accessories over here. We have PM construction materials. We have phone normal mobile phones. So I can go into my find. Okay. So uh, I tick on my item group. Okay, so I untick the description. Let's say I'm looking for my phone. So I just type in my phone. I search. So all my phone item group will appear. What I need to do is I click check all. I click easy item. So as you can see, it has come to a Excel like sheet on the top for you to update uh, your information. And we even have shortcuts for you to do it. So, for example, all the phones, the classification is the same. So, I can just click on this small icon called Select All. Okay, it will auto highlight everything. And on the right hand side, there is something called Range Set. So, I click on the Range Set, it will appear a dialog box. So, what are the fields you want to update? For example, now, I want to update the classification code. So I look for my classification code. I tick. Okay, so for mobile phones, it will be 003. As you can see over here from the description, this is a computer, smartphone, or tablet. So I click on this 003 and I click apply. So you can see all my phones, the classification will show 003. Of course, you have to save it. If you cancel, this will not be updated. So I click save and I refresh my home screen of the item. You will see the classification has changed to 003. All right? So I do another example. For example, CM, construction material. So let's say I find. Okay. So again, I tick on my item group. I put CM. I search. So you can see I have four construction materials item in my, uh, you know, my maintenance. So I just check all. I click easy item. Okay, again, I highlight everything. Select all. Range set. So I need to update the classification code. And I'll look for construction materials. So 005. Okay. And remember, we have something called mass generate e invoice. So, according to the LHDN guideline, construction materials are items that is mandate to issue e invoice. You cannot do consolidate. So, we will want to update this mass generate e invoice as well. We change it to yes, means I want to mark this item as something that is mandate for e invoice. So, I click apply. And I click save. So I refresh, you will see the classification code will be updated. So I can also double click and view the item. You can see the classification code is here. Must generate e invoice is also auto tick due after your updating. So this is one of the easy way where you can do your updating of your item maintenance for your classification code uh, where to state whether the item is mandate for e-invoice and of course if you wish to map your measurement you can do it from there